Hi, welcome back. Uh, so today's video um, I wanted to do on um, toddler toys. So um, I kind of wanted to give you an idea of how we set up our play space for our toddlers uh, so that it's um, interesting and fun and so that it takes into account their current interests and uh, works to support their any schemas that they're currently um, doing. So if you don't know much about schemas, they, it is interesting to learn if you have a toddler uh, because it will kind of give you an insight into why they're doing current behaviours. So you might notice your toddler doing things like um, emptying boxes, uh, putting things in boxes, moving things from place to place, even like throwing food on the floor comes into uh, part of a schema. So, so for example, well, those examples, but for example, our toddler likes to, our daughter likes to go around in circles at the moment. Um, she'll, she'll, if she's dancing, she'll be, she'll go around in circles, she'll go round furniture, that kind of thing. And that comes into a rotation schema. So there, there might be a number of different schemas that your child is doing at any one time, but it's basically a repeated pattern of behaviour and it helps them to learn and develop new skills. So knowing what kind of schemas they're doing at that at the moment will help you in planning um, activities and putting out toys for them. Things it will help them to be more engaged and more interested, which is obviously what we want for our children. We want them to be um, happy and capable, and you know, play and and be engaged. So I kind of have that in mind when I'm setting up her playroom and when I'm doing putting toys out for her. So yeah, hopefully this will be helpful for you. I'll give you a kind of tour around our, our uh, playroom and why we set up certain things and why I've put out different different toys in different places. And hopefully it'll help you in um, setting up your play spaces or just give you an idea into some toys that your toddler might like. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So this is our playroom. It's in our conservatory. So it's not huge, but there's enough space and everything's kind of organised and tidy. Uh, so they can come in and it's quite close to the uh, garden, which is nice. So we open the doors here and they can come in and out. It's nice and free flow. So I'll start over here. This is one of our play cubes. Um, not play cubes, storage cubes with our toys in. Um, so up here we've just got some standard uh, building blocks. So the toddlers really like these because they can build with them, but they're small and movable. So they can put them in and out of different baskets or take them different places or use them for different things. They're kind of open-ended, which is cool. Um, down here, we've got some magnetic, um, I don't know what you call them, magnetic tiles. Yeah, they just basically all stick together and you can make different things with them. So at the moment, my daughter... Um, really love the, loves these. I mean, I've had them for months and she hasn't even touched them. <laughs> I've put them out in different um, displays, different kind of baskets, and yeah, she's not taken zero notice of them at all until recently. She really, she really likes them now. So she likes putting them together. I think she's, she's going through some kind of attachment thing where she likes to put things together and take them apart. She also really likes um, our... Um, our kind of uh, race track, uh, car track thing. So she enjoys putting that together, taking it apart. So if you've got a toddler who's going through a similar thing, anything that they can pull apart and put together, they're gonna they're gonna enjoy. So those are really good. You can get those anywhere, Amazon or eBay. So up here we've got a hammer toy. Um, this helps them learn about shapes and colors. Um, obviously they can only really learn about shapes and colours when I'm with them. If they're independently playing, then they're just going to be playing with it, pushing them through, using the hammer to kind of hammer them down, and then they can take them out and put them back in. So really good for fine motor skills, but also if you're around um, and they bring it to you to kind of show you what they're playing with, then you can kind of talk to them about the different shapes and the different colours. So it's good for that. That's really well played with as well. They really enjoy that. They, that's been out here for, I don't know, maybe four weeks and they play with it all the time. So I was going to keep it there for them to enjoy. So down here we've got just a standard wooden wooden puzzle. 
uh, with slightly smaller knobs on there than than a usual toddler um, puzzle so it makes it slightly harder um, it helps develop those fine motor skills um, and then it's good for learning language as well so they'll learn what each of these fruits are um, obviously you'd have to be with them for them to learn that but we're often you know we're often nearby aren't we uh, even I mean to be fair the toddlers that I have my daughter and, and the little boy I look after they don't really play independently very much so I am usually around to kind of um, talk to them about what they're playing with and and work on the language kind of stuff so this is another uh, cube but just on the other side of the room where we display our toys um, in here we've just got some flashcards so um, we don't really use these in any kind of structured way, which is fine for their age. They don't need to be, you know, in like a classroom environment. They just want to play and explore and, and that's what they use these for. So she can take them out of the box and look at the, the pictures. She knows what some of them are, so she'll go through them and she'll say the words. It's really good, actually. I think flashcards are good for them for kind of early reading because they start to link they start to notice the word on here and link it to the picture and what they're playing with and again if we're nearby we can encourage learning language as well so we can talk to them about what they are you know this is a teddy this is a pram they might hold it and give it give it to you and ask you what it is so um yeah it's uh, it kind of helps with their curiosity and being displayed in a little tray like that, they find quite interesting. Um, so down here is a wooden toy um, with balls. It's another hammer toy. So they hammer the balls down um, and then it comes out the end and they can put them back in the right colours. So good for learning colours um, and just good fun. That's Again, that's really well played with. They love that toy. It's, I've had it for months and... Yeah, they're not really showing any signs of getting bored of it, so it will stay here for a while. <laughs> um, so down here we've got some books. We've got a book, book basket with more books in, um, which again is low level for them to play with, but um, for them to explore, sorry. But I like having books displayed in a different way, uh, a different area as the room as well, just makes it slightly more interesting. And then up here we've got... Um, Another activity which I've just displayed on a tray. This is just a Ferrero Rocher packet which we ate the chocolates out of. <laughs> and then I thought, what can I do with it? Um, so I've just got some pom-poms. You could use um, anything really, round shaped. It doesn't even have to be round shaped. It's just for them to kind of put them in into the different slots. They quite enjoy doing that. Um, so if you've got a child that's uh, transporting things they might like to move these around put them in there put them in different places um, so that's quite good and then up here we've got some of the threading toys so one is slightly more advanced than the other this is just an apple and they put them through the hole and then slot it right through the other side so really simple and straightforward whereas the, the cheese has got a smaller kind of threading tool and they have to go in at at angles rather than just straight through so it takes a little bit more concentration a little bit more skill but yeah I've got two of those they like playing with those it encourages them to be to concentrate a bit more because they have to sit and focus on it so they, they don't play with them for very long but they do they are very interested in them um, and then over here we've got a table and chairs this is good for a uh, sitting at uh, I think it's nice for them to have an area to sit down at, um, a little chair, a little table I think is good for that. They can have their lunch there, they can be quite civilised and have their snacks there. Um, and it's good for bringing toys over to sit, sit out and play with, which they do. They bring puzzles over here and play with them. So I've just got some loose parts here. There were a lot more and they've just kind of disappeared. I think they've moved them and hidden them somewhere. <laughs> Probably put them in a box and I haven't found them yet. So yeah, there were quite a lot of pine cones and shells and they've just, yeah, disappeared. But you can put anything in here. I think it's nice to have loose parts. If, if you've got a child that likes transporting, putting things in and out of boxes, taking them around to different places, then it's good to have loose parts that they can um, they can play with. I've got some little tubs that they can scoop and put them in, put the lids on. They can shake them about, listen to the sounds. And then I've got a little a bag here as well. So, they, yeah, they, they come to this table and play with this quite a lot. 
Um, as you can tell, because there's hardly anything left in here, so they've they've moved it and and put it somewhere. So yeah, um, anything really, whatever you can find in the house, you can put in these um, in in that kind of display. And then we've got a basket of balls, all different sizes, textures, shapes, sounds. Um, some of them light up. Uh, they love the balls for kind of bouncing around, kicking, throwing, putting in and out of things, moving. Um, really good to have those. And then we've got some vehicles here. These um, they love pushing, pushing up and down. Um, we've got a little track that they push them around on. They can take them outside. You know, th there's so much they can do with them. They can play with them in the sand pit. Um, and they can learn what each vehicle is. So they recognise it when they see it out in the real world. So they know that this is an ice cream truck. This is a bus, a fire engine, and we can point them out when we're out and about as well. So really good for that. So that's pretty much our playroom. We've got a little reading corner over here. I do like having an area where they can go and be quiet and just read and somewhere comfortable and warm as well. So it doesn't have to be anything like this, but yeah, just somewhere they can sit and, and be quiet and just relax. And then we've got a basket of puppets and a basket of soft toys. And then a little tunnel just in the corner that they can pull out and play with as well. Um, so this is just our toy cupboard which has our overflow toys. But yeah, that's our playroom. So quite a nice little space, has everything they need, and it's um, interesting and easy to navigate, and everything is easily accessible as well. So that's our playroom. So yeah, that's it. That's, um, that's our playroom. That's how everything's set up um, to take into account their interests and schemas. Um, hopefully that's been helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions please put a comment below if you want to know anything about the toys that we have where we kind of got them from or the names of them then then please put a comment um so yeah have fun with your toddlers have fun in setting up their play spaces i personally uh buying toys and kind of setting up their play area is kind of a highlight of my week my son really sad but I just love it so if you're the same then then you'll probably enjoy this video but yeah if you, if you do like the video please thumbs up and subscribe and we'll be posting some more videos very soon so thanks very much for watching have a good day bye